Hi, my name is Grayson Benavides, and I'm in 11th grade, and I've been coming to Croxy's group for about two years. Hi, I'm Mercedes, and I'm in the ninth grade. My name is Paige Cramp. I am a junior in high school, and I've been coming to Crocs for about two years. My name is James, and I'm in the 10th grade. My name is Jackson Davis. I'm a freshman in high school, and I have probably been coming to Crocs for about a year now. So hi, I'm Morgan. Uh, I'm in 11th grade, or in fancy words, I'm a junior. My name is Elijah Cramp. I'm 17. I'm in 11th grade, and I've been coming to Crocs for two years exactly. I'm Isaac Davis. I am a junior in high school. What impact has Camp Table Rock had on your life? I really liked, and I still have my journal actually from Camp Table Rock. I liked how a lot of his messages were more about thinking faith, you know, because uh, most messages aren't usually like that but just the factual parts of the Bible, um, focusing on that. Like, logically, how, because uh, some people, you know, doubt the existence of God and everything in the Bible to be true, but the most, the biggest thing that stood out to me then was how, um, like, there's 40 different writers of the Bible, I'm pretty sure, is what he said, and they never contradict each other once. And I just thought that was amazing. And he provided so many different scriptures to back that up. Like, what other book written over the course of thousands of years and by 40 different authors could have the same, you know, they could be saying all the same thing and never contradict each other. It really just made me focus on God's word and um, taught me to don't listen to other people and listen to it listen to God and what he tells you to do. I learned that um, all the prophecies that Jesus fulfilled um, was like a one in like um, like a number that we don't even have a name for that they all did in fact come true. Uh, before I went I was not wanting to do anything after high school. Uh, now I want to join the Marines. Like when we had our little small groups time with your grade, well, we talked a lot about what we do out of church camp. And I was like, I don't do anything except for sit at home. You're like, so are you interested in anything? And I said, not really. I have a cousin that's in the Marines. They're like, do, are you wanting to do that? I was like, kind of. I've been thinking about it. And then when school started up, I guess it gave me the reason to go up to the sergeant here in practice and tell him. I think the little groups was probably my favorite because I love talking to my peers and thinking of how they've learned everything and, you know, having more like the college students teach us and more of a smaller concentrated group and it's a little more concentrated than me and what I do. You shouldn't really have to look at someone, you know, for example, on an Instagram post, you shouldn't really have to look at them as a, you know, reference point of what you should look like. One, you know, who has a thin body and like long hair and be like, wow, they're so attractive. I should, I should be like that person, which is completely opposite on what you should be doing. And also, uh, it's those letters that you kind of make all of us write to ourselves. But at camp, you kind of have that camp spirit. And of course, when you go home, that camp spirit, that camp spirit isn't going to be there. If you kind of put all of your, uh, your, your excitement, your motivation, your determination, that feeling that you're having during church camp into one letter and you can give it to yourself in the future, like that's, that's really going to help a lot. For example, in my situation a few months ago, I was dealing with some heavy issues, but then I got a letter for myself and it was like in the, in my letter that I wrote when I was in camp, I, I said like, Hey, um, wh whenever, uh, whenever you get this, if you're going through a tough time, remember like all the things you went through, just, just remember that and remember that you are strong and you can go through it. I think it did speak to me about uh, getting into the Bible more and learning more about him. Uh, one of the sermons was defending your faith. So if you don't, you say you know the Bible, but you really don't, then you can't really defend it if someone asks you, you know, I guess more specific questions or questioning your faith. They were, so they give us booklets with all the information and in the back of the book, 
there were questions. They were some of the mo most asked questions of people at camp, I believe they were. And so I decided like every night, let's just go through one or two of those questions um, while we're in our bunks before we go to sleep and just talk about it. And so we would do that every night and it was really fun. And I just kind of got to think in with everybody else engaged and like, what if we started a Bible study where it was more for those who just really want to learn a lot more about the Bible. So I'm really excited for it. Uh, I think we're starting in the next couple of weeks. So I've been studying a lot um, and I'm really excited for it. So. It was just a fun environment to grow closer to God.